I'm like, flashback. Thought you got mad, then he didn't crack that. In and out of dolo in a new mass. To the boys were on him and he crashed that. Till they came back, man, I don't act like. Head soft, yeah, tap all ready to go and jump. But. Disney's new app, The Future of Web 3. I just finished my first week in Disney Pinnacle's closed release, so beta access to Disney's new Web 3 app by Dapper Labs. And I swear you wouldn't know anything is on chain. So the app ultimately digitalized the iconic pin collecting and trading experience, but strategically hides all blockchain functions from the UI UX. So as somebody who works in this space, I can totally see where the Web 3 principles are like for instance, the pin variants come in different rarities like sparkles and gold. There's sets, collections, and releases like starter editions, open editions, and mystery capsules. I'm actually so obsessed with the revolving storefront, which typically changes the pins every like four hours or so. And I honestly thought I'd forget about this app after a week, but I've definitely opened it at least once a day because of this feature. I also thought I wouldn't care to buy more pins, but I've 100% simped and bought another pin every single day since. The trading and marketplace hasn't even opened yet, which has me a little bit impatient, but other than that, I certainly think that this app has some legs, especially for non-Web3 natives. Let me know what questions you have, and I'll continue sharing the journey with you. Yeah, there we go. I to keep this. Yes. Okay, now I got it. It's a very playful way to make art because you're right, it's limited in, I only have four or five colors. Um, the other limit is that I kind of have to just cut very sharp so I can never blur things out. So there's certain obstacles that you don't have as a painter, but at the same time, it's such an interesting new sort of explore, explorative experience that it makes up for all the little like bumps in the road. Oh man, you know, it's like a, I think most stories start like that. It's a, I was dating a girl and I wanted to impress her, but I had lost my voice uh, due to, to uh, inflammation. And I thought I should at least try some romantic gestures. So I would climb up at night and stick some little like pieces of uh, messages or little sketches up on the street lamp in front of her apartment. And that was the first time I saw how beautiful tape actually looks with light. And so I incorporated that more into my sketches and learned how to cut it. And from there, I slowly developed a technique, which then became street art in Amsterdam and then Europe. And uh, through a making off video that I made to showcase how this has been done, it became viral worldwide and that pushed me into the whole, into the whole art world. So I prepare them usually at home on my window using the, uh, the sun as a backdrop, at least back in the days when I didn't have a light box. I really stumbled into the whole thing, so that was the path basically. <laughs> so I liken it to creating a song, so I need to be inspired, so I basically I need to find a melody and usually that can't be forced, so that pops up in your head and then you get really excited about it and that's usually when I like leave everything behind and just like try to wrap sort of a story around that imagery that, that came up. And that means I make a lot of sort of tryouts. Um, I like, like a jigsaw puzzle, bring in, like, let me back up. Basically, it's like I find a character and then I try to build a theater stage around that character. Maybe that's a good way to explain it. And that takes a while. But, you know, like with songs, you realize at one point, okay, this is going to work. And then it's very exciting and you just build. It's following 
a structure, but also improvising in between. And so that's a dynamic process that's very hard for me to explain. I better show it on the light box. No, no, no. Basically, I sketch with my scalpel. Otherwise, I would have twice as much work, right? If I would sketch first, follow that sketch, I can just sketch right away with tape. And especially since tape has such a different way of developing on the, on the light box, because I stack it, right? And that effect of stacking, I couldn't reproduce with a pencil or with paint. So I just sort of learned to play that particular instrument. And I think I couldn't even be sketching anymore. I, I haven't tried it in a while, so who knows? I might be really bad at that. Padre, 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 padre,